Good evening, everyone. My name is Hector. Greetings from Campo Rubiales. This is my participation for the English class. I'm going to talk about the present continuous. Okay. The first step in order to get the present continuous um, grammar way is the verb to be. In all these different ways, am, are, is. As we already know, in the present tense, we always use the verb using the to in order to make the verb in infinitive. For example, to play. But for the present continuous, we gotta make the verb on the ending using ing. And this is the key to make the present continuous. So you make the action is happening at the same time you're talking. For example, if I say I play, it's different if I say playing because I'm doing the action at the moment. So that's the way you use playing. And you make the to be verb using the different personal pronouns. I, you, she, he, it, we, you, and they. You use to be for I, I am, for you, you are, for she, she is, for he, he is, for it, it is, for we, we are, for you, you are, for they, they are. Now we're going to make an example. In present you say I it right is the action you say when you're having a so I mean when you're having a meal but for the present continuous we're going to make the ending for ing this way I am eating you are eating she is eating he is eating it is eating, we are eating, you are eating, they are eating. The differences in pronunciation are based on, depends on American or British English. If you want to make an American English, you make that I am eating, we are eating, I mean you are eating, she is eating, he is eating, it is eating. We're talking about British English, you say, I am eating, you are eating, she is eating, he is eating, er is eating. This is basically the way we made a change for all the verbs in present to the present continuous tense. And remember, the key word is ing all the time. There are some um, tips. Uh, when you have verb finishing in consonants, you just made the ing. When you have a verb, which has just one syllable, like for example, put, you gotta make the last letter again, I mean the T, and then made ing, put in. When your verb finishes in white, in this case, study, the last letter is I, white, you just make ing, study. Easily you can get confused because sometimes you can find birth with the ing terminations but those are not the present continuous tense. Those are gerunds. But the gerunds is another different I mean, topic for the grammar test. The way you can recognize the present continuous tense is a birth finishes with ing and before this verb, one of the way of the to be on, are, or is. Thank you, this is my participation, and I will be flattered to hear any question from you later. Bye.